If you've taken any time at all to watch either ESPN or NFL Net, you have been hearing the same thing over and over. Both networks have to fill hours, and I get that. However, can you not come up with something more interesting than what will Peyton do against that Carolina defense? Cam hasn't seen a defense like the Broncos. Cam is so dangerous he can beat you with his arm, here it comes, and his feet. Peyton is also getting the most run. Of course, he won't do that. Out of the time-honored expression, wouldn't you like to see him, here it comes, right off into the sunset. The Houston connection with Denver was obvious early. 13 players and or coaches used to work here. All 13 were either released or fired. Bob McNair and Rick Smith got some, got some attention for that. But there are two other Houston connections you may not know about. Writer for the Stars, Mickey Herskowitz, was the driving force to hype the very first game between the AFL and the NFL winners. He told me the toughest job was convincing the public the $10 ticket would be worth it. Mickey made the rounds of all the L.A. radio and TV shows to help start the biggest show on earth. The other uh, Houston story is former ABC Network sports dude Dan Lovett. He was at Channel 13 before Bob Allen and before Color Film, I'm told. Dan has multiple copies of all 50 Super Bowl programs. The ads alone are worth checking out. Cigarettes were glamorous in the old days. And at halftime of Super Bowl I, there's a picture of Kansas City quarterback Lenny Dawson taking a big hit on a smoke. I got to think he didn't get paid to do that. And Dan points out the current program is the only one of the 50 with no Roman numeral on the cover. L just isn't as classy as 50. This is Craig Roberts on Click2 Houston.